The fastest way to create mind mapping diagram in Visio is to search for available template. Once you are in the drawing screen, mind mapping diagram, which is also called brainstorming diagram, has five shapes in Visio. Main topic, topic, multiple topics, dynamic connector and association line. To start building the diagram, you need to start with the main topic. Let's say that my main topic I'm trying to brainstorm is how to learn effectively. To capture it in the main topic bubble, I need to double click on the bubble and type in the name. Let's assume that there are five main concepts we're trying to adopt for effective learning. Taking notes, connecting new concepts to existing knowledge, asking questions if something is not clear, visualizing concepts, and reviewing the examples. Let's represent these five concepts on the diagram. To add subtopic to the main topic, you need to click on the shape and click Add Subtopic. Once in place, you need to double click on the subtopic and type the new text. You can add additional four subtopics in the same way. Let's take a look at a couple things Microsoft Visio provides to make your diagram effective. Number one is outline window. Here you see that we have main topic and we have five subtopics. You can edit things right here or you can get to the specific subtopic. By default, if you add subtopics through the right mouse click, they are added on the left side and on the right side from the main bubble. It might be okay for you. If you need to change this behavior, keep in mind that you can reconnect the subtopic to any areas of existing bubble. Keep in mind that mind map is just a concept. It doesn't matter which tool do you use. I use Microsoft Visio because it's just much easier for me to present it on the screen. But in addition to digital options, you might very well be using chalkboard or pen and paper. It is very important that you focus on the ideas and the concepts and the thought process of what you're trying to document, not on the tool. Couple considerations though to keep in mind. Always plan for revisions. It is good to use the tool where you can erase and edit the information. And another important thing is that mind map can be used as a comprehension tool for yourself. You don't need anybody else to build effective mind map. And at the same time, it could be used as very effective collaboration tool when you're working with the team. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka and I have MBA and master's degree in computer science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in the community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. Why mind map is so effective? There are five main reasons. It is the best tool available today to learn material fast. Mind mapping allows you to quickly understand important concepts. Connect information you're learning to existing knowledge you already have. Build associations with existing topics you already know and recall material that you're learning much, much faster. You can use mind maps to help you study at school, college, or university. Mind maps will help you brainstorm new ideas, solve problems effectively. Mind mapping will help you with the effective decision-making, event planning. It will help you make your meetings more effective. And what's extremely important in today's world, it will help you effectively collaborate remotely. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. There are a couple cool options available to change the design of the diagram without changing the functionality. Because we're using brainstorming template, Microsoft Visio added brainstorming tab and there are multiple options in this tab. In addition to adding topics or rearranging items on the screen automatically, you have an option of changing the diagram style. When you click on the diagram style button, you can switch between different styles that are available. For example, I might like elliptical style. Let's see how it's going to look. I think I'm okay with this, so I'm going to click okay. One other cool option that I use a lot, outline window 
you can enable it here or disable it here. In an outline window, you can see the entire structure of the diagram by just expanding and going through the tree. After changing the design, some of the text no longer fits into the box. So what you can do, you can either expand the box, or in my case, I'd like to keep the boxes the same, or in this case, it's not boxes, it's ovals. I'm typically just changing the length of the text and reducing the text. For example, instead of connect to existing knowledge, I'll just leave existing knowledge. And here, instead of visualize concept, I can maybe have it on a different line if I really want to keep both, or I can just leave the word visualize. Other features that might help you improve appeal of the diagram are available in the design tab. Here you have multiple themes, and you can go through the themes and see how your diagram will look with the different theme. Let's say that you picked the theme, and now you have access to variants. Variants will keep all elements of the theme, but will allow just to change the colors. You can also change the background of the diagram by picking particular background that you might like, or uploading your own image for the background. I'm going to do undo and leave the background white because it's easier to see on the screen. And last but not least is adding some borders and title. If you're doing a formal diagram, maybe for your project, or trying to do additional information, maybe like copyright or something else on your diagram, good idea might be to introduce the border, pick the color that match, in this case colors do not match, and then include the date information, include title of the diagram, include author, and include copyright. I'm going to undo this step as well and show you one last feature that you can take advantage of, which is re-layout of the diagram. Visio allows you to automatically change the layouts based on the different styles, so you can pick something that best matches your needs. I have a question for you. Do you have a better way of solving the challenge that was presented in this video? Could you please share your thoughts in the comment section of this video? Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.